And it's not just amongst the fans. The, the insiders, the offices around the world, always speculating who are the future uh, potential stars in pro wrestling. And so many people believe Leo Rush could be that guy. But you have to make sure it doesn't go to your head because how many athletes have we seen that we thought were gonna have bright futures and it got to their head and they burned out. You see it in other sports all the time. A critical time in the career of Leo Rush. What a young man he is too, just uh, 22 years old or so and he's only been wrestling for what, two years I yeah. think, right? I'm excited to see that, that matchup later on here tonight, but our preliminary card continues here with our second matchup, this in the men's division and the lightweight division, Chase and Rance and Carlos Gabriel. I'm a little bit familiar with Chase and I've seen him around. I'm not so much familiar with Carlos. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest takes place in the Division Pro Lightweight Division. Introducing first to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in this evening at 161.6 pounds from North Miami Beach, Florida. Jason And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in this evening at 171.6 pounds from Indianapolis, Indiana, Carlos Gabriel. Well, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Carlos Gabriel, former OVW Tag Team Champion, recently relocated to the Orlando area, like many wrestlers who are coming here from all over the world looking for superstardom. And this would be a big win here tonight if he could defeat the veteran Chase and Rance. Chase and Rance, probably 17 years in at this point, wrestled all over the world. Huge win it would be for Carlos Gabriel. But let's bring this up, because now that Carlos Gabriel's in the Orlando area in training, he actually trains at Chase and School, so they are very familiar with each other. Team Vision Dojo. Seen, uh, I know during Mania Week, there were a number of uh, interesting oh, yeah. matches that took place there. <laughs> so many shows in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> such a short time ago. But now the appetite is increasing again, and everyone's been so excited when, since they found out that Division Pro's first event would be here in Orlando. Of course, people can watch all over the world on DivisionPro.tv. But for the local fans in Orlando who just got so spoiled by so much wrestling and then had a bit of a lull, Division Pro's got everybody excited. We talked about so much talent around the central Florida area, people moving here. It really is becoming the mecca of independent professional wrestling. And obviously everybody wants the opportunity to uh, head to the big warehouse over off uh, East Colonial Drive. <laughs> yeah, but let, let's think about for these matches and the preliminary matches, some of them featuring local wrestlers, a guy like a Chase and Rance with a chip on his shoulder felt that he should have been on the May card and wants to prove a point here tonight. Now hold on, Carlos Jason Gabriel. trying to go for the cover. Gabriel able to shimmy his way free. Yeah, Gabriel and Chasen here in the lightweight division. You have to think that maybe the winner of this match would have an opportunity to be on the main card in the lightweight division on a future event. So a lot at stake here for both men. As things go on here as well, when you talk about the divisions, eventually as things shake out a little bit, there will be rankings, there will be champions, all that stuff. As we said, still yet to play out, but you got to wonder for, for these guys here, does a good showing in a match tonight, does that get you, say, in the top five or the top four of your particular division, in this case, the lightweight division? Right, and we don't know yet how the rankings are going to be determined, whether it's a committee, whether it's computerized, but either way, you have to think if you're an athlete lucky enough to be on the first show, you need that victory. You need that victory to have a chance at a high ranking. So important to take advantage of having been on the first event. Two lightweight matches on the preliminary card. And we'll have a lightweight match on the main card as well. And that's the uh, Leo Rush, Corey Hollis battle. And Jason Rance showing why he has been in the business for 17 years. You can see just the, the experience difference. It, it's an advantage for Jason here as he goes for the cover and a kick out. Yeah, and Carlos Gabriel's got some experience under his belt. Like I mentioned, former Southern Tag Team champion over in OVW. But Jason Rance been around so long, won titles all over the place, in control right now as Gabriel backs him into the corner. And Chasen's a bit of a hothead. I think that's one of the best strategies against him is to try to make him lose his cool. I'm trying to turn the offense around now, that is. Carlos Gabriel. Chasen Rance now back into the headlock. 
Look at that takedown. Into the cover and getting the shoulder up. Does it change your perspective in the ring if you're somebody who trains people and maybe you haven't reached the heights that you think you should? How frustrating is that? And how does that manifest itself during a matchup? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Knee right into the gut. Well, I think any time you've got an athlete who's been around as long as a chase and rinse, hasn't necessarily gotten that big break yet. It's Strike to the back of the head and a kick out by Rance. It, it definitely plays a role, Rich. It's a great point that you bring up there. And, and you got to think, too, for a guy like Chasen, this is his stomping grounds, too. It would be embarrassing to lose a match here in the town he's made his home in for so long. Carlos Gabriel, whip into the corner. And a close eye right across the chest. All right back down into the cover. Trying to hold those wrists flat down on the mat as well. You see Chasen covering up. A little bit of ground and pound there. Chasen caught the foot. You can't turn your head for even a second against a veteran like that. Stop right to the back of the skull. Beautiful snap suplex. Into the cover here, doesn't hook the leg this time. And that allows Rance to kick out at two. Yeah, I was gonna say great technique, the way he floated into that cover, but then didn't hook the, the leg like you brought up. And pro wrestling takes so much mental acumen, the most complicated sport there could possibly be. Uh, so many split second decisions that the brain is having to make, and you can't always do everything perfect. A move like this doesn't look like much, but when you've got your knee in somebody's back and wrenching those arms, wrenching those shoulders back, that really takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? Yeah, I was always a big proponent of that anchor hold because it applies pressure in so many areas, to the neck, to the shoulders, the small of the back, like you mentioned, as you dig that knee. I like moves that cause pain in multiple places. That's potentially something as well that you can use to soften up your opponent to go for a different move later on to target one specific area. Yeah, wear them down and, and see what they leave open as well because now he's targeted multiple spots and you can't defend everything. Something's going to be open. Rance was trying to stage a comeback. Gabriel trying to snuff the fire out and into the abdominal stretch. Good ring positioning here from Gabriel as well. Chasing really... Probably the nearest rope's about five feet away. So this is very smart strategy from Gabriel. If you were gonna put on an abdominal stretch, it's about the best place you can put it on. He's got that locked in deep. You can see the look of agony on the face of Chase and Rance. Carlos Gabriel trying to wear Rance down. Rance out of it. And that's one way to get yourself free. Rance is gonna be feeling the effects of that abdominal stretch. He's fighting it off though. Sometimes you use so much strength to break a hold like that, that what do you have left? You really saw Chasen struggle to stay on his feet after countering the hold. Connects with a back elbow to the top, roll crossbody! Cover, hooks the leg, center of the ring, and a kick out. Rants again, leg lariat. Starting to see Chasen fly a little bit. Not his forte, but he is well-rounded. We talked before, he likes to focus on the technical, but if he needs to fly, he can. You see the quickness there as well. Slides under. Oh! The initial kick was caught that time. No dice, flips into the cover, and again, this time a kick out. At two, and right into the arm. A Yudahishi, Gigi Akujuji, Gatami. What? You see Gabriel trying to clasp those hands. So important to counter that hold. Into the cover, and uh, power out. What did you just say? Well, it's a very dangerous hold known here in the States as the cross arm breaker. Yeah, but what, you just, did you just have a seizure or something? Uh, Yudahishi Jijiaku Jujigatami is the name of that hold. And if you don't grab your own arm within two or three seconds, that arm will snap. I, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. I, you know, I, I, I guess not yeah. everybody has 10 hours a day to sit around and watch New Japan like you. <laughs> just pretend I sneeze when I say it. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Rance was seemingly on the comeback trail. A stiff kick right there by Gabriel. Oh, man, Rance catches him. What a counter there from Chase and Rance and Zagiri as Gabriel wanted to springboard in, setting up for the Chase and driver. Uh-oh. Oh, planted him. Oh. 
Chase and Driver finishes the job. Pile Driver right through the ropes. Great technique there, spikes him right on his head. Nobody's kicking out of that, Rich. Chase and Rand's victorious. Get another look at that Chase and Driver. Watch here. Look at the impact on that. Right on the top of your skull. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner via pinball, Chase and Rand.